All right, British Grand Prix 2020. I've gone through this event in Mercedes, as you guys might have uh, seen in my previous videos on my channel. And I've also gone through it in McLaren, which uh, I did not make videos for that one. That's kind of middle of the road. Mercedes, like the highest PR. In this account, of course, we have the lowest PR Alfa Romeo with the highest top, sort of like a mirror opposite of Mercedes. So, um, let's see what we have to do if the cost is going to be end up being higher or lower. Since now I know that I've completed the event, that uh, I know what I need to do, essentially. The last stage, third goal, is really the only one that I see that's going to require uh, either driver and principal level ups, or tunings, or combination of the two, or all three, right? Since now we have three different elements that, will, that we can use to boost the performance of the car. So, um, yeah, the two primary focus area for tuning is going to be, and the tuning and the principal level up is going to be the top speed and acceleration. The, what do they call it? The gearbox mapping and power unit optimization, right? So, um, this event, of course, there's some... 200,000 motorsport dollar reward at uh, for essentially completing all seven stages plus 75 gold so if you stick to using tuning instead of uh, driver and principal level ups then you're not using you're not spending any gold which means you get to net 75 gold by going through this event which is not bad. You know, you're netting 75 gold. When was the last time you went through a special event and net 75 gold? Yeah, exactly. It's been a while, huh? So, um, as I said, for this series of videos, I will continue my quest with Alfa Romeo featuring our star, Kimi Raikkonen. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see. I mean, from the beginning, my focus is going to be pretty uh, straightforward. It's going to be a matter of when or how am I going to get this car to hit that top speed of 313.82. Yeah, that number is now like in my brain. <laughs> Uh, between um, Luffield and uh, essentially maggots, right? So, uh, we don't get to race on that part of the circuit yet though because the stage one we start on the international circuit so we'll have to go through our ropes and figure out, um, well, just kind of warm up, I guess. So, the thing about this entire event of course is I don't think there is a single goal where you can go offline or off track or crash so those two things are gonna be in effect just about the entirety of the event so but for now this one's just uh, chasing behind safe car for 40 seconds the hero maybe check out something uh, what some refer to as the phone here
nice and easy. And in terms of driver XP that you gain by running through this uh, uh, whole event, accumu accumulatively depends because it kind of varies depending on how you finish, how um, like what position you rank at the, each challenge and how clean you race and things like that. Uh, but you can expect to gain somewhere around like 11,600 driver XP. So that's not bad payout. And the actual race winning, so not like stage completion winning, actual race winning, you will accumulate somewhere around 463,000 motorsport dollars. So those are some things to keep in mind. Um, yeah, on spec, this car has a top speed of 315 kph, so it sounds like it should be able to hit 313.82, but uh, you know, that never happens. These cars rarely ever reach their top speed that's written in these specs. I mean, we get close. But, uh, you know, you will need really, really long uh, straight path for these cars to hit that kind of speed. So realistically speaking, I think you need to, first of all, we know the length of the straight that's available to us to hit that top speed at Silverstone Grand Prix. So that means you need to bring down that acceleration down to 1.96 or 98 seconds or so. That's the expensive one, right? The power unit optimization upgrade or tuning to increase uh, or decrease your acceleration time. And then you also need to increase the top speed to somewhere around 320 one 325 somewhere in that range um something i noticed even when the specs numbers are so certain numbers on the specs um even when they're identical actually one car performs better than the other in terms of when you know you're given a situation where you have to hit certain speed within certain distance so yeah um because acceleration obviously measures up to 60 like 0 to 60 time right so after that things might you know play a different role and they do because as it turns out uh i didn't need as many upgrades or tunings on mclaren to achieve that goal than i did with mercedes so even though base pr is higher on mercedes it ended up costing me more get to that one goal so yeah something to keep in mind and we'll see how Alfa Romeo fares with all that once we get there and we've got just about a whole week to get there so more or less a warm-up stage but get used to the way your chosen Formula 1 car handles here at the sort of the first half of the ground so I also known as international circuit or the international circuit took me all essentially three laps or well two laps and on the third lap is where I was able to catch up to safe car for this uh full two challenge. So uh, it's 
expect the same thing One of the weaknesses, actually, this car has many weaknesses compared to the other two that I've used. Like, anything but top speed is pretty much uh, a weakness on this side, so... Alright, huh, anyway. That's a pretty quick completion of a goal, nevertheless. A couple of minutes. 335 driver XP. I'll pick up a few more motorsport dollars for that. And let's continue on. Alright, two goals down. Yada yada yada. Goal three. And now we get to race against the Academy car. This one I think you right finish behind and for the pre-lap and then finish ahead within 100 meters in the actual lap. Once again, we'll start. So, the beginning, we're gonna have to stay behind. There we go. Work on drafting a little bit. Shower friend in. Academy car, a little bit helping him. And I'm getting ready for overtake. Cross the first line. There we go. within 100 meters of the lead, so you don't want to take off too far, too fast. and change for 300 fame points 221 driver xp and 5900 motorsport dollars all right three goals down And on to the final goal. Uh, oh yeah, overtake the academy car five times. So get in front, fall behind, get in front, fall behind, do that five times, right. Still really don't get to test out the top speed on this guy, that's okay. We'll have opportunities, I'm sure, to do that in the future. There's one. There's two. Oh, 
There we go. Quick 47 second race for a few fame points. 111 driver XP gain for that effort. But 11,750 motorsport dollars paid out, which brings my total up to 2 million, just about. All right, and yeah, I still have access to this car beyond this event, so don't really need to service it right away. Stage one complete, 10,000 motorsport dollars is the completion reward. And as I said, there's um, five gold, right? All right, so that will do it for this video. Kind of a recap of the full event. Kind of a weird space, a weird place to do a recap as I'm starting the series here for this account. But since I have completed the event in two of my other accounts, I kind of have an idea of um, what I know, what I need so sharing that information with you guys so hopefully that will come in handy and uh yeah we'll talk to you guys in stage two tomorrow so good luck and take care right tomorrow